Hey y'all, Half Mile Sniper here, and today we're going to uh, we're going to take another look at that 3220 with the rung barrel. So, sit down, kick your feet up, and enjoy the ride. So the other the other day we did the uh, the video on the uh, 3220 that I picked up at when I was uh, at Fort Benning training with the AMU, and I had mentioned that I was going to try to do uh, try to clean the the bore a little bit with some JB bore paste to see if I can clean up some of that uh, black powder corrosion. So today we're going to give that a try and see if I can get any results out of it and maybe get a better uh better view for y'all down the board so you can see what the rings look like on the inside so let's go uh, give it a quick scrub and take a look and see what we get and here we are after two passes of the jb bore paste and some carbon cleaner and you know it still looks Pretty much like a sewer pipe in this angle but again that's the black powder damage the uh, the rings are less noticeable in this view but if I could get a shot of actually looking down the bore like you would be if you were cleaning you would see You'd see the ring. So I was finally able to get a good picture down the bore, and we can we can see the rings from the squib rounds. When you we have, when you have a squib round and you have a bullet stuck in the bore, the next bullet comes up behind it. It compresses the air before it moves that other bullet, which causes a ring and a bulge. And if we look on the outside of the barrel here, we can see the, the reflection looks skewed. That's from the bulge. We have the ring and the bulge. And sometimes it's really easy to see, sometimes you don't notice it till after you've bought the gun. And here we can even see the, the rings in the forcing cone area. This had multiple squib rounds uh, lodged in the bore at one point. Okay, so we gave the uh, bore a scrub with some JB bore paste. We have the original view on the left, we have the post JB bore paste on the right. And we can see that the rifling looks a little bit cleaner. Uh, some of the black powder corrosion has been knocked down a little bit. But the black powder damage is pretty, pretty extensive here. And I don't think I could ever get it all polished out. Uh, if I got in there and hit it with some lapping compound or something, I might be able to get some more. But I'll take the rifling away. I think uh, I think we'll just leave it as it is. The rifling looks pretty decent for 100 years old, and who knows how uh, how badly it's been abused in its lifetime. And we've got multiple rings in the barrel from lodged bullets and squib rounds, and you know it is what it is. But we'll conserve it the best we can, and it'll fill a slot until I can find a more pristine version of the 4 inch 3220 for my collection. Send it. Head. <laughs> 